My name is Ferdon Papa Michael, and I'm a cinematographer. I live uh, primarily in Los Angeles, but uh, often come to Greece. And uh, currently, we're in beautiful Como, Italy. Well, we're doing a commercial for Nespresso, which we have done. This is our third one that I have done, and uh, um, with George Clooney. And we've done them uh, before with John Malkovich in Milan, and then we did with. Uh, Matt Damon in Los Angeles last year, and this year we have Jean Desjardins to join us from the team of Monuments Men, and uh, we're going to shoot uh, in the beautiful Villa Beste. With George Clooney I've done uh, three movies, once as an actor only, uh, Descendants, that's when we met, and it was with Alexander Payne directing, which was the second movie I did with Alexander, I had done Sideways, and ironically uh, George also wanted to do uh, Sideways. But uh, then Alexander told him, you know, I really don't see you playing this loser actor. Uh, so uh, he didn't cast him. But uh, we, we did get to work on Descendants, which was great. And uh, every time we do an Alexander Payne movie, it's very special because he creates his film family. It's a very intimate environment. And I think George liked the way we work. And uh, we're also fast. And, uh, you know, it's not very technical. And it's, and it's nice for actors. So. He asked me uh, on Descendants to work on his next movie, which was Ides of March. And actually was on a dance floor. He was uh, dancing up to me and asking if, uh, you know, do you want to do my next movie? I'm like, yeah. You know, so it was very, uh, very unofficially uh, proposed. He does have one problem, which is, you know, Alexander, you're more safe. You know, with Clooney, you always have to be prepared because there could be some kind of practical joke that he likes to play so you know things happen you know I, I will be operating the camera and he's behind me and he has a bottle of water and he's pouring it down my my pants and so you have to be a little bit more careful and more prepared for his uh, little unusual uh, uh, pranks that he likes to play. There was a press conference for monuments which deals with stolen art of course uh, as, as you probably know and and in the press conference, a Greek journalist asked him, what is your opinion about the Elgin marbles? And of course, he, you know, he said, well, I think those should be returned. And you know, that triggered an explosion of uh, emails that I got personally, because I'm Greek and uh, our connection. So I got a letter from you know, the Ministry of uh, Tourism, of the Ministry of Economy, and, uh, and uh, from the Consul General in Los Angeles. And can you please? And I go, you know, I'm happy to forward this, the letter of invitation, and uh, you know, pursue the cause. I don't think he, you know, was so specifically uh, knowledgeable about the uh, Elgin Marbles, but he turns out he is. We've talked about it just uh, yesterday, and actually, his uh, fiance, his future wife Amal, is meeting Samaras. Um, to discuss exactly that. So now uh, there's another proponent of the cause and uh, she's coming to Athens uh, September 11th and we'll meet, uh, spend three days with Samaras. And I told him, you know, if you manage to get the marbles back from, from England, you will be a hero in Greece. They will probably, you know, give you uh, an island in Greece like Anthony Quinn. And, uh, so uh, he, he does support it and uh, he does actually truly believe that they should come back because, you know, the argument was always they can't be returned because the Greeks do not have the proper facilities to maintain them and to protect them and to, to exhibit them, which is not true anymore. We have the beautiful Acropolis Museum and, and so I think uh, hopefully maybe, uh, maybe Mr. George Clooney and Amal will manage to help the concept.